Hey, how's it going? And today we're just going to talk a little bit about the difference between a blueprint, the blueprint level editor and a blueprint class. And this is one of those distinctions that's very important to know. If we go into the Unreal documentation, it says a level blueprint is a specialized type of blueprint that acts as a level-wide global event graph. Each level in your project has its own level blueprint created by default that can be edited within Unreal Editor. However, new level blueprints cannot be created through the editor interface. Events pertaining to the level as a whole or specific instances of actors within the level are used to fire off sequence of, of, of actions in the form of function calls or flow control operations. Well, that, that sounds kind of confusing, doesn't it? Basically, how I understand it is that level blueprint just basically affects that level. It's for something, It's you can think of it as kind of a one-off functionality that you want. It's not meant to be reused it's just kind of a one-time only function whereas a class is something that you can use in other levels and create many instances and replicate the same same functionality so just think of the level editor as a one-off specialized function kind of to show you what that might look like and and how we would even get there we're here in unreal engine 5 and there's been a bit, lot of changes between unreal Engine 4 and Unreal Engine 5, things things have really been moved around and changed quite a bit. To get to, let's say, we're in this case, we're just going to drag a light onto the scene and, and we're going to just give it some functionality, like have it turn off after 7 seconds or something like that. That's all we're going to do. So we're going to start by dragging a point light to the scene and you might be like, well, how do I do that? Well, if you don't see this, go up to Window and see where it says Place Actors. So if for some reason you get into Unreal Engine, you don't see this, then come up to Window and click Place Actors. And an actor is basically anything. It It's such a global term. It it's basically could be called any entity almost practically. But we just come up here. These are all actors. But we can just grab one here like a point light. And then we'll just drag it onto our scene right here. And then over here are all of its properties. What we'll do is we're going to make this light, let's just go ahead and make this light really red, as red as we can make it, so that we can see it, be sure we can see it in the scene. And let's go ahead and bump up the intensity of the light, and just really, because we want it to be very noticeable. So if I hit play and go into the scene, hit W to go forward, you can see the the light very clearly. So all we're going to do is add some functionality and make this light shut off. So I hit escape to get out of the scene. And there's our point light. So how do we get to the level editor? Well, we just got to come up here to this icon right here and go open level blueprint. And it takes us right in. Now the trick here is to grab this tab and come up here and dock it. So now all, to get back to our scene, all we got to do is hit that tab. So I always, always dock it. And then the first thing we need is an event. So we always need an event. And we so to do that, we would just right click, right click here, whoops, and go begin event, or I'm sorry, event begin right here, and just click that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to right click and create a reference to our point light. So we just go create reference, and there it is. And then all we have to do is drag off of here and we'll just search for toggle visibility of our light component right there. And it comes in already all wired up. So then all we have to do now is we're going to create a delay. So if we drag off of here and type in delay, we have one here. And what did I say? Seven seconds. We'll go seven, just like that. And then we'll just drag this into this. So these are these white lines are kind of our, our program flow. And, our, and this is just kind of hooking up, telling what the target is, kind of what's going on. And then all we have to do is hit compile and save. And so this little event graph as a, in the level blueprint is going to turn the light off after it's going to toggle the visibility, turn the light off after seven seconds. So now we just jump back into our scene and I hit play. And let's see if it goes off after seven seconds. Do, do, do. Oh, it does. <laughs> 
And that's it. That's all I had for today. I hope you found this helpful. I am going to start making a ton of tutorials on Unreal Engine. They actually, the next video I'm going to do is on creating some really super basic games. I feel like that's the best way to get started with learning the program is just starting out with something very simple and then gradually start making games and increasing complexity. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I will talk to you next time.